When Borges wrote that men throughout time have always told and retold two stories, that of a lost ship which searches Mediterranean seas for a lost island, and that of a god who was crucified on Golgotha, he must have, as all others do, forgotten about. I came into being because it was foretold, and I foretold it, spun like a thread snaking around the still smooth universe before I gave it edges and gods and soup spoons. When he wrapped himself around me, I knew he was coming because it was foretold, and I foretold it. I named him time and together gave the world a meter to count me by. No thing on earth felt easy in the face of words like always and nothing, the empty faces uncertain before all that certainty. So I gave them time for them to feel me ticking, for them to call my name on the hour in bell towers and egg timers, but they would forget what they were counting as I knew they would because it was foretold and I <coughs> foretold it. I even gave myself a name, put it in time's mouth so he could find me in the first dark. But he's the only one who knows it. The only one who could even pronounce it when together we cracked the shell of the universe, ordered sky over sea, over earth, burned stars into the night for people to compare themselves to. The earth gave me names, and despite everything I built for them, they never called me mother. The Greeks called me Ananke when they remembered to call me at all, but I, the world feels my fingers in everything. A feeling of inevitability, of necessity, of destiny, as small minds call it. But I never touched the earth, only turned the wheel, and was the wheel, and am the wheel, while the world spent its time shredding divinity into pieces small enough to grant the weakest desires, ward off every childish fear. I watched them kneel and sacrifice for wealth, the birth of male children, protection from death, never venturing from their small blue island as if gravity was the best thing I ever pulled down from the dark. <laughs> but I am so jealous of those gods, the ones who walked the earth, promised them they could keep what I knew must be taken away. Jealous even when their devoted destroyed them, burned the flesh from their backs, nailed them to trees, wore their fingernails as talismans for protection drink their blood every week for strength. What must it feel like to be so acknowledged? Mm -hmm. I am just a wallpaper graying under kitchen cabinets. No one seems to understand why they can't just peel me away. But I have helmed this ship, have been this ship for so long, I begin to wonder if my island is still there or if it even ever was, but I know it is.